Hello and welcome to another geography explaining video. Yeah. Today I will explain the theory of Ullmann and everything about migration that you need to know for the first paragraph of Buitenland. So if you are in 3 VBO and you have the English course for Buitenland, you can follow along with chapter five, paragraph one about migration. All right, so how does this work? So you can see that I built a wall around here. We have one country here. We have another country here and a third country here. So of course we have uh, Pikachu, Pikachu land up here. We have Charizard land. And on the other side of the mountains, we have Squirtle land. All right, so with our three countries in place, we can discuss the different types of migration, the theory of Ullmann, and all the other stuff that's coming up. All right, so when we speak about migration, we have a lot of different types of migration. Uh, first, of course, you can look inside one country. So let's take a look in Pikachu land. And let's say you wanna move from this area over here to this area over here. This is called internal migration within a country. Now, of course, when you move from one country to another, so let's say from Pikachu land to Charizard land, you call it international migration. So when, when someone leaves from Pikachu land to Charizard land, the person who leaves from Pikachu land becomes an emigrant because it leaves the country. And when it arrives in Charizard land, it is an immigrant. But of course, then the question comes, why do people move to different places? And why do they go to exactly that location? Why not another place? This is where we have to look at the theory of Ullmann. This theory describes why they move and why they exactly move there. The migration theory of Ullmann uses three main factors why people move there. So let's go through them. First, you have the complementarity. This basically comes down to the push and pull factors of regions. You already know about push and pull factors from previous lessons, but to come back to it, it is reasons that make places attractive or unattractive. So for example, when Pikachu land has not enough electricity, it is a reason to go away. It is a push factor. It pushes you away. On the other hand, if you go to Charizard land and there, there is a lot of good education, you get pulled towards it. So these push and pull factors are part of the complementarity. That's the first one of Ullmann's theory. Second in the migration model of Ullmann is the intervening opportunities. So for example, you want to look at opportunities that you have while moving places. For example, if you wanna move from Pikachu land to Squirtle land on the left side over here, you might wanna think, okay, what is between? Is there any options that lay between? Because of course, Squirtle land is the eventual goal but maybe there is something in between. Let's say that in Pikachu land, gay marriage is not allowed, but there are of course gay Pikachus. Now these gay Pikachus do want to get married and to do so, they have found a perfect country called Squirtle land because in Squirtle land, gay couples can still marry. However, to get to Squirtle land, they have to go through the big roads or go through a little mountain road. Now, in between these two countries, so between Pikachu and Squirtle Land, there's Charizard Land. And to the big surprise, also in Charizard Land, gay couples can marry. So even though Squirtle Land was the eventual goal, in Charizard Land, you can also end up. So this intervening opportunity made them move to Charizard Land instead of Squirtle Land. The third factor of the migration model of Ullmann is transferability. So the possibility to travel from one place to another. Of course, traveling from one place to another must not cost too much money, time or energy. So sometimes when you are migrating, you end up in a different place than you expected. Again, if we use the same example of Pikachu land over here and you want better gay rights and the gay Pikachu want to marry and they can both do it in Charizard land or in Squirtle land, they will choose probably Charizard land because it is easier to travel to. There is a nice highway connecting to it, but to get from Pikachu land to Squirtle land, you have to go through this very inconvenient mountain road. So in short, the migration model of Ullmann comes down to three factors. The complementarity with its push and pull factors, the intervening opportunities, maybe there's a better option somewhere in between, or 
the transfer ability. So is it easy to reach it or is it really difficult? So now that we know how migrants travel and why they travel to certain regions, let's take a look at what kind of different migrants there are. First we have labor migrants. They come to work in a certain place. And in this way they hope for a better economic future in their life. Then of course you have the international students. They come to find better studies and to complete their education. Of course there are also refugees. These are people that are fleeing from war or are being persecuted for their beliefs, sexuality or opinion. So they are looking for a better political future. You call a refugee an asylum seeker as soon as it seeks recognition by other people. And lastly, you have the family migrants. When, for example, Papa Cherasard moves to Squirtle Land, and later on he brings his whole family of little Cherasards and his Cherasard wife to Squirtle Land, it's called family reunification. But when a Cherasard moves to Squirtle Land and only brings his partner over, and they do not have kids yet, it's called family formation because they can still have kids in Squirtle Land. Unfortunately, not everyone has the means to migrate. It is usually the poorest of people who do not have the means to migrate and move countries. Therefore, they also run the greatest risk. Most migrants do not come from the poorest country. Usually, they come from middle income countries. They have relatively high education, more money than the poor. These people usually want to improve their own life situation. So they look across the border and check out the other possibilities. This is called aspiration, the wish to improve one's own life. So not only do you need the capabilities to migrate, but you also need the aspiration to migrate. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.